Hi out there. Um, welcome to a Wig Journey with Julia. I am Julia. Um, sorry for this, if, it, if you can see like a, a ray of light coming above my head. Um, I'm doing this on my um, cell phone and I hit a wrong button and I wanted to get this video done before I go to work. So I don't know how to get that back off. So sorry for that little bit of ray of light <laughs> but anyway the reason why i'm on here is um uh, i am wearing my hair cube wig that i paid less than 25 dollars for i uh, maybe 20 dollars um i got it from a place called hair cube i've done a video on that before and um she's held up pretty well um i've worn her i don't know a dozen times two dozen times uh i what I don't do, I don't like. I put on a wig seven o'clock in the morning, and I go to work in, in that wig. I come home. I'm home by three, and I'll be doing things around the house: uh, housework, gardening, mowing, leaf raking the leaves, whatever. I generally change out and put one of my standby wigs. I call them my standby wigs, and generally I go to my uh, Lydell wig which is what was $20 and I'm on the second one of her and the first one I just loved her so much and I didn't know what I was doing with her and I washed her all the time and I didn't realize you didn't have to do that so the first couple weeks that I did purchase uh, even my Paul Young I, I I just was too rough with them and now it's four or five months later and um and YouTubing everything and following other people on YouTubes and, and now I think I'm getting the hang of this. So this is my hair cube. Um, I washed it for the first time this week in cold ice water. I tried this trick. I don't know. Uh, cold ice water. And then I just let her dry. Uh, plain old shampoo. Uh, wig, I have wig shampoo and wig conditioner. And I put the detangler on her and I rolled the rung her out, rolled her up, spritzed her with the detangler and shook, waved her out like this, put her on one of those plastic head things and just let her dry naturally. And this is, this is the outcome. Um, I did while she was drying, I, it's always been a lot longer and I, I'm not comfortable with it being that long. So I did take a fraction, a fraction of maybe a half inch close to a half inch off of it and um yeah she's good to go uh she turned out very nice um, this is by far the, i think the darker the darkest red that i have i have um main attraction i've done it i've done a video on this not too long ago i had all three of them all three of my red ones and um i am looking into buying another main attraction hollywood but in nutmeg um i've I've searched so many videos with people that have the nutmeg color and I think I really like that color so that's on my wish list right now I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it pretty soon uh, I'm just been mulling it over between that or going to the wig company which everybody is talking about um, and it's called the the new vibrant but that doesn't come in it has a red but I, it's not like a nutmeg color or it's not even like I don't think it's like this color I can't really tell I ordered a magazine I ordered a uh, catalog and I'm hoping that the catalog gives a better description of the colors now Daily Dazzle and Dawn she has uh, she was doing a video on the one that she purchased from the wig company and uh, I think it was golden pecan pecan um, I like the other I like the reddish one but then there's a highlight one too so I don't know I like the highlight reddish one but anyway, the reason why I'm on here is that my um, my $20 Lydell wig, uh, she started showing some signs around the nape, the back of the nape, and the, um, the, the spray that I have wasn't quite cutting it anymore. I mean, I'd wear it for a few hours and I could feel it. And generally, the Lydell wig I wear after work. So I'm um, in there a lot um, out here doing my thing. So I wanted to show you the ends now what they look like now um what i did with her again i stuck her in ice water and i let her sit for about 10 minutes i didn't wash her because i washed her about three weeks ago now i didn't wear her every day for three weeks um but a lot so i just stuck her in ice water for 10 minutes and then did the same thing i run, gently wrung her out in the towel 
did like this in the shower, got, got excess water off of her, put her on my mannequin head, and I am very frugal, in case you haven't figured that out already. So I heard people using their um, hot brush, a rolling brush, and I was going to buy a brand new one, but I didn't know if it would work or not. So I went to my, now don't get skeevy with this, I went to my local Goodwill and I wanted to see if they had one that I could just try and on one of the other wigs that I had, the other, other Lydell wig um, that, I, that I threw out, the first one of her. And they had, I mean, it was two, I don't know if you can still see that, two ninety nine. I paid for this at the Goodwill. Now I'm giving you giving them some some publicity here but um my growing up my aunt used to say the best kept secret and I think that was their logo logo but what I did now the hair in there is from the wig when I got this it looked pretty clean but I washed her I I, I soaked this end you know in bleach and water um and it was it was good and it's only for wigs anyway I mean it wasn't like there was anything on there so but it works um, and this is just a two ninety nine one, so I could just imagine. I mean, I don't know how much she, it's a Vidal Sassoon. I don't know how much this really retailed for. I didn't look it up, but it has two. It only has two settings, and it comes with this. And this does not come off. There's no other things that go on here. So I took that. I combed her out with a wide tooth comb. To, did did one section, flipped up the one section, and just did the very low, the lowest hair points. And I just did a little section and kept kept holding it with the moving it, but holding it at the same time, like slowly. And I did all of it. And then I brought down the second section and I did the second section going across. And she's still wet because I left her on the mannequin head. So the air is not circulating up in, in the cap. So she's still damp. So I can't wear her. I might be able to wear her after work today. I don't know. But she turned out absolutely beautiful. There's no more, I mean, it was, it was starting to show some, some, uh, what do you want to call it? Beehives? I don't know. The, you know, just a pff, wear and tear. And like I said, this is my $20 most favorite color wig. Um, this is the color I'm trying to find, even in like the main attract, uh, the, um, the wig company. That's why I'm waiting for the catalog to come. I want to open it up and see. Um, because this is more of a strawberry blonde compared to the red in the, in this one. And, um, yeah, I love, I love how this, the, the color of this. So she's good to go. I'm going to get, I'm going to get some more wear out of her and then I can always go shorter. Now I have cut her. She, she came a lot longer and it was just too much hair. Uh, I couldn't, it's, it, this, this, this way came to me like a, it's like a helmet. And I did a lot of manipulation with her. I have removed so much hair, um, actually from the, the, the cap. I didn't send her with thinning shears. I've already done a video on that one also, um, just to get her to be not so much of a helmet, but I just love the color so much. I just cannot get that color out of my mind. And, um, I love how, how it feels. Oh, the cap, the cap is a basic cap, big head friendly, and it feel so comfortable. I can literally wear her all day and not have a problem. Um, there's a couple of wigs like that. We all have wigs like that. You just, just, you can just wear them. It has no, no issues. This one's big head friendly also. Um, I can wear her other than the, 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 by the end of the day, the hair is just, it's, it's in my face and I just want to change out of it and put something shorter on or more manageable. But okay. I just wanted to get that out there. So if you want to, try one of try a a hot curler and you don't want to spend the $49 that they want it for some of these or um even on sale I think they were like maybe $25 and I thought well if it doesn't work I don't want to be putting out the money so that's what I did um bought it second hand and um it works it works so I can just imagine like I said the um the more expensive ones maybe with the bigger bigger barrels um, you can get it, but it, it really worked and I'm very happy with the results and I just wanted to put this video out there just to let you know what I what I did Sorry for this. Like I said the ray of light above my head 
<laughs> I have to figure out how to get it off my phone now. All right. Uh, thank you for checking in. If you like this, please hit the like and subscribe button. So I know that everybody likes what we're, what I'm doing out there, what I'm, what I'm learning to do and I'm sharing it as I do it and, um, have a great weekend and God bless. Bye.